हाय गाइस यू आर वेलकम एट जाखड़ केमिस्ट्री यूट्यूब चैनल माय सेल्फ आर आर जाखड़ आई एम ए केमिस्ट्री एक्सपर्ट टुडे वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट अ टॉपिक आइसोमेरिज्म इन दिस टॉपिक वी विल डिस्कस द डेफिनेशन ऑफ आइसोमेरिज्म वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ आइसोमेरिज्म एंड सम ट्रिक्स टू रिमेंबर आइसोमेरिज्म एंड एग्जाम्पल्स सो लेट मी स्टार्ट दिस टॉपिक फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल डेफिनेशन डिफरेंट मॉलिक्यूल्स हैविंग सिमिलर मॉलिकुलर फॉर्मूला बट डिफरेंट प्रॉपर्टीज आर नाउन एज आइसोमर्स एंड दिस फिनोमिन इज नाउन एज आइसोमेरिज सो नाउ वी आर टेकिंग सम ट्रिक्स टू रिमेंबर दिस डेफिनेशन सो फॉर आइसोमर्स देर आर टू पॉइंट्स विच मस्ट बी सेटिस्फाइड and we can identify by using these two points number one point is molecular formula whenever you want to determine the isomerism first of all see the molecular formula the given compounds molecular formula must be similar for two or more molecules to be isomers and number two point is properties properties should be different for different molecules to be isomers okay here if we talk about the properties then we can take all the properties like chemical properties and physical properties and we can say some properties may be different or at least one property must be different for different molecules to be isomers okay so now we are taking example for example we are having a molecular formula suppose c2 has 6o now we want to determine whether it can show isomerism or not so here we are trying structure or we can say structural formulas for this molecular formula so we can draw one formula is cs3 cs2 oh and another structural formula can be cs3 o cs3 now you can see these two molecules are different but molecule formula is similar and properties are also different these two molecules like in case of ethanol molecule ethanol molecule can form hydrogen bond with another ethanol molecule but in case of this ether molecule it cannot form hydrogen bond with similar molecule so this property is different and due to this ethanol molecule is having more boiling point as compared to ether molecule so we are saying ether is more volatile than ethanol so these are the properties which are different for these two molecules and even these are having similar molecular formula so what we can say about these these two molecules are isomers because here these two points are satisfied you can see molecular formula for both is similar and properties are different which properties are different boiling point is different vapor pressure different and intermolecular attraction forces are different so these are the properties which are different for these two molecules so these two molecules are known as isomers now we are taking types of isomerism here we have discussed that for isomerism the molecules should have some different properties so what is the reason behind the difference of properties will decide the type of isomerism so in case of type of isomerism this is of two types one is known as constitutional isomerism or we can say this as another name is also used for this is structural isomerism and another type is stereo isomerism now we are taking the points which are different for these two 
and here one question is arised as how can we determine whether a molecule can show constitutional or stereoisomers or two molecules are constitutional isomers or stereoisomers so for this question we can give the reason by taking these points so here we are writing the points molecular formula it must be same for isomerism so it must be similar here then properties what the point it should be different for isomers and in case of constitutional isomerism the reason behind different properties is what reason for different properties is different connectivity do remember due to different connectivity these molecules are having different properties and here at place of connectivity you can use the term different structural formula connectivity and structural formula are same thing okay do remember now for stereoisomerism if you are writing this point then point number 1 molecule formula it should be same number 2 properties here also it should be different now point number 3 region for different property will be different orientation so here connectivity is not the region for different property so what we can say the point number 3 is connectivity or we can say structural formula it is also similar for stereoisomers but still these are having different properties so what the region behind different properties so region for different properties this region will be different orientation do remember this is the main reason for different property in stereoisomers okay so what the meaning of orientation we will discuss this in stereoisomerism section in detail but we are taking some brief like if we are having these two markers and these two are connected with this end and you can see these both are having similar direction like these are oriented upward now if we are doing one more experiment in which we are having these two markers in the same hand but one is downward and another is upward so this orientation in which both are in opposite side and one more in this one orientation in which those these both are similar side are different orientation okay are you getting this point these are in same side is one orientation in another orientation these are in opposite side similarly for a human these both hands are connected to our body but in opposite direction in some defected case if any person is having both hand in the same side then we are saying that is different orientation okay got it so this is the meaning of orientation even both are connect to the same atoms but orientation or we can say direction of attachment will be different so these are the major two types for isomerism constitutional or structural and another one is stereoisomerism now we will discuss about these two isomerism in detail one by one so first we are taking constitutional isomerism do remember these points must be learned for determination of isomerism now we are taking constitutional isomerism so here to remember easily what are the points for constitutional isomerism you can say number 1 molecule formula should be similar for constitutional isomers number 2 properties should be different 
नंबर थ्री पॉइंट इज कनेक्टिविटी और वी कैन से स्ट्रक्चरल फॉर्मूला इट शुड बी डिफरेंट एंड दिस इज आल्सो द रीजन फॉर डिफरेंट प्रॉपर्टीज फॉर कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल आइसमर सो फॉर कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल आइसमर दीज थ्री पॉइंट मस्ट बी सेटिस्फाइड ओके नाउ वाट इज द रीजन फॉर डिफरेंट कनेक्टिविटी दीज मॉलिक्यूल्स आर है कनेक्टिविटी डिफरेंट सो वाट is the region or how can we achieve the different connectivity and that will decide the subtypes of this constitutional isomerism so now we are again classifying this constitutional isomerism so types of constitutional isomerism here there are some types we are writing here number 1 chain isomerism number 2 position isomerism number 3 functional isomerism number 4 metamerism number 5 tautomerism these are the types of constitutional isomerism so to remember these all points these all types and now we are taking one by one and explain these all so first chain isomerism number 1 chain isomerism here if we write the points point number 1 molecular formula it must be same number 2 properties different number 3 connectivity or structural formula it should be different and number 4 point reason for different connectivity here number of carbon atoms in the root chain are different okay so this is the reason for different connectivity must remember this point these all three points are applicable for all constitutional isomerisms and this fourth point will be different for this constitutional isomers number of carbon atoms in the root chain are different here you know the root chain when we are giving the iupac name to any organic molecule then we are selecting a longest possible carbon chain and that will be known as root chain here we are taking example for example we have a molecule formula c6h14 we are given this a molecule and molecule formula is this now we are drawing different structures and we can remember number of carbon atom must be different in root chain so what we can draw the six carbon in it without branching we and number 2 we can draw five carbon chain and one branch and number 3 we can draw four carbon chain and two branch 
now you can see here these are all molecules are having similar molecule formula and here root chain is having how many carbon atom six carbon atom in root chain and here root chain is having root chain is having of five carbon atom and in this molecule root chain is having four carbon atom but still these three molecules are having similar molecule formula and these are branched molecule this is unbranched and these are having different properties so these are constitutional isomers and here what the reason for different connectivity is different number of carbon atom in root chain so these are chain isomers so what we can say molecule number one and two are chain isomers one and three are chain isomers molecule number two and three are chain isomers so this is the way to determine the chain isomers